hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to write a very first route in our backend that is in node.js so in this route we are going to have the authentication part that is nothing but registering the user as well as logging in the user so in our application we are going to follow model view controller kind of setup that is nothing but model is the previous year we've created user model right that is a schema and view is a front end here we have the client folder right this is the view what a user will be viewing so that is a view another one is a controller which we are going to have our routes so model view controller with the help of controller and model the view will be appeared so this is a very interesting setup and our code will also look very clean and simplified so let's get started as part of controller we are going to have uh, two different folders one will be of routes obviously so all the routes which we are going to have in this ap application will be storing in this routes folder and another folder will be of controller so whatever the routes we are having in that there will be have specific kind of functions right those functions will be in this controller folder so without wasting any further time let's get started with creating our very first route here so we'll name this route as auth route because we are going to have authentication logic in this route so first things first we need to uh, import express so const express require express and after that we also need to import router from the expo express so express dot router so this will initialize our router using express package now here we are going to have our request that is as i've said uh, auth route will be having a request of registering and logging the user right so we are having that part here so router dot post you will be having many kind of request in your application that is get request post request put request delete request all kind of request so what post request here means is we are going to post values in the database that is we are going to add values into database and get method is nothing but it will retrieve the data from the database and similarly the post is for modify and it is for deleting the contents in our database so here we are going to first register right so register is nothing but when a user inserts the data into the form and clicks on submit button then all the data will be inserted into database so that's why we are going to have this route called post so here we are going to give our route uh, first parameter is our route we are going with the register and the second parameter will be our function you can write here as a sync function uh, saying that a request and response having this arrow function all that but that won't look good if you are having many kind of routes so that's why we are not going to have this arrow function or this specific function here we are going to have this function outside of this folder that is in controller we are going to have this asynchronous or synchronous function so we are not going to write this instead of that we are going to write our function name here register user now it will throw error or it will not work because it doesn't know what is register user means like we have not written the definition of that function we have not imported from anywhere so what we are going to do is we are going to write our function in the control as you can see the file has been created now first thing we are going to do is whenever we do any kind of functions like a uh, registering or logging in we are going to uh, access our uh, database right so we are going to have our database imported here so that is nothing but our model so user const user equal to require and from models 
model directory and inside the model we have user model so we have imported a user model into this controller file successfully now what we are going to do is we are going to write our function so const register user this function is nothing but uh, which we have defined here right so we are going to write definition of this function and import into this author route file so register user and this will be asynchronous i'll tell you why it is asynchronous because we are going to wait for some kind of data to uh, put into the database at access so it should not uh, go sequentially it should wait for some kind of se steps so that is what asynchronous means unless or until a uh, fifth like uh, example a fifth line is completed it should not go into the sixth line because uh, there might be some cases where a user or a variable is having any kind of data then only it will have some kind of functionality so that's why we are having this asynchronous function that means unless or until this step is completed you can't go into the next step you already know that javascript by default is synchronous that it won't wait for anything it will just go through sequentially so that's why we are writing this asynchronous function and we are going to have our arrow function here and first things first we are going to import all the fields like whatever the user is uh, inserting in the form we are going to import those so first thing it will be the user as mentioned in our model user is our username email and password these things we are going to take from the user right as is verified by default will be false we are going to take three things that is user email as well as password so where do we get this from we are going to request body from the body of our web page we are going to get this three variables uh, the three data once we take data from the user next thing we are going to do is we are going to validate that like uh, if we are getting email first we need to check that whether this email is already in the database or not because a user cannot register two times with the same email right so that's why we are going to check that condition here so for that purpose i am going to have another variable saying that user exist equal to and whenever you write a sync we are going to say this await that means unless you complete this line you can't go into the next set of lines so what we are going to do is we are going to database and then we are going to find one find one with our email variable so what it does is with this data user entered like a email let's take that xyz at the gmail.com so that will search in this user database if it is present user will be true if it if it doesn't present user will be uh, user exist will be a false variable as we now took into this variable now we are going to check this condition if user exists that means if the user exists variable is true then we are not going to register that user instead of that we are going to throw a pop-up saying that you have already been registered with this email or the user is already there with this particular email id so i'm going to return return rest whenever you write a request as a request is already used now we are going to give response so rest dot status first we are going to give status and then we are going to send few data and in this we are going to send this as a json which first thing will be success which is false because uh, the function has not gone through right it just returns false that user already exists with the data that means registration is not happening so the next thing will be my message so this will be the string i'll say that user already register with this 
email so that will uh, return to the user sorry we should not use a semicolon here it should be a comma because we are sending two kind of things here and in the else part that means if the user doesn't exist with that particular email id then we are going to register that mail id so in else part we are going to have this try catch block because if there is any kind of network problem or any other uh, so side of client side problem we should also handle that uh, so if everything goes fine the try catch will execute and everything will be fine if there is some kind of problem either in user in or in a database or in our server side then that will throw error saying that there is some kind of network issues so we'll have this uh, try catch block here and in this try block we are going to register so for this video we are going to have just a basic registration without having any kind of encryption or hashing a password we are going to have just basic registration in the next sections we are going to have other sections saying that it how to have a hashing your password how to encrypt your password and all those things so for this video we are going with just basic registration for that purpose we are going to create an object saying data and it will have this user email and password so this these are the fields uh, that needs to be sent into the database uh, now we need to send this uh, object into database or the best other thing we can do is we'll just uh, already we have this uh, request dot body right so we are going to have the same here as well so const new entry equal to new user and it will be of request dot body so whatever you have in request dot body it will automatically get stored in the object in the new entry variable now what we are going to do is we we will just save this new entry here so new entry dot save so and our purpose will also have this log into our console whether it's saving or not is just for our example purpose you need not to have this align in your project let's save this everything will be formatted and once this is done we are going to return something for user right so that is a response so re response dot status of 200 which sends us this information so success will be obviously true because the registration has completed here and the message will be registration successful and our try block is completed we need to uh, handle this uh, catch block as well so nothing here we can just have this one line res dot status it will throw an error right so 400 series would be fine and here we'll have few things which is first one will be the success it'll be of false and a message we are going to send it this error variable which we are having in this catch block so we are going to return this as well so return let's save this and our registration code is successfully completed and what we are going to do is we haven't connected our uh, front end to back end right so we are going to connect our front end to back end so for third purpose we need to go into client and package.json here we need to have one line that is proxy proxy and the next one will be our http host here we have the http host as 5000 right if you see here 
the port we are having is 5000 so we are having the same thing here http this two slashes localhost 5000 and we need to have a comma here so this is a proxy for so what it means is our database or backend is having this local host of 5000 port right so whenever it we are uh, trying to access any kind of backend we just need to use uh this thing the like our proxy no need to every time use this local host 5000 all that now we have successfully connected to our front end to back end and also we have completed this uh, auth control right we need to import it here so before importing we need to export here so let's go down here module dot exports and what are the functions we are having in this file so for now we having only register user right so we'll be just exporting register user and in this we are going to import that we can just type writing register user and it will import itself so router dot post register and register user whenever this call is happening it will go this register user to auth controller and all these steps will be executed and we have completed route and controller right but we are forgetting another thing we need to have this route mentioned in our server.js file so now we are going to write that code in our server.js it is nothing simply we are going to import it so first things first we'll have your const out route equal to require and we are going to get that from routes folder so routes folder and we have auth route and the next thing we are going to do is we need to have app dot use so it tells this backend part to go into that registry that slash auth or slash user whichever you're going to define here that route it is going to uh, go and execute the files so auth use and i'll have auth then whatever i've imported your auth route so whenever i access uh 5000 slash auth route then it will execute the code in auth route that is nothing but the auth route file this is the file it will execute and another thing we need to have here is json that is app dot use express dot json this is the object we need to have mandatory in our application because we are accessing the body right like register the body unless you have this uh, json object uh, in your node code you cannot access that request body you know all done and in the next video we are going to see the front end part how we are going to submit the values from the front end